ask myself what am I doing here? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. And here today, I wanna give you guys a full review of our new 20, not new, but new to us, 2019 Jeep Cherokee Limited in the color olive green. Let's go ahead and step outside and take a look at this today. This has been a such an exciting, exciting purchase and I'm just stuck with it. Excuse the wind up in the mountains right now. It is extremely windy. Here is a quick look though at this. There are the daytime running lights. I'm gonna take off my sunglasses so I can see. It is in this beautiful olive green pearl coat. Again, 2019 Jeep Cherokee Limited. I haven't had to put gas in this yet, but it does have the capless system. I'm gonna have to get used to that. There is the rear of the Jeep here. I love this green color. You come right up here and you can click the button or there's a button on the right side. You click, this will open your trunk. There's a backup camera. You're gonna button to lock your car after your trunk closes. I got some new wipers in there to put on. I love those wipers. And a quick button here or on your remote to close your trunk. Click it. And so by the way, this has had the power gate trunk. Back seats look amazing. I've got a few things back here in bag. Nice cup holders, very roomy in the back seat, I will say, compared to a lot of the other SUVs on the market for these small one. This is a blind spot monitoring and also the turning signal. I love these limited rims for the limited trim. And these lights just look absolutely so good. Convenient access, push the button to lock. I'm gonna go ahead here and turn on our hazards for you guys to take a look at these turn signals on here. There they are on the front, that's how they look. And they do blink on the turn signal. It's kind of hard to see though because it is daylight out, but they do blink on the turn signals, on your mirrors, I mean. Let's go ahead and get back in here. We're gonna take a look at the inside of, our, of the vehicle here. Okay. So, very nice steering wheel. I'm gonna go ahead here and move you guys to the wide lens. So you can see better. Very, very nice steering wheel. Have some nice design here since 1941. Lock and unlock buttons work good. Your windows, fronts are one push down, one pull up for both. This has a massive panoramic sunroof that goes all the way to the back seat. You can close and open the entire shade. You can vent the back right there or you can put the entire thing back. It will go to about there. And then if you push it one more time, you'll get that much. That is the max. I really wish it could be like a Wrangler and the whole thing could go back, but it does not do that. Um, you get your auto dimming uh, mirror here on this Jeep. Glove box, I will say, is pretty small. I mean, I, I put a lot of stuff in the glove box. It is kind of small. I apologize for the fingerprints here. I don't have my wipes that I bought for the car with me. So I'm gonna try using my hand, my sleeve to clean this screen because it's so messy. Okay, Bluetooth, we got my Samsung connected here. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and move um, our parking spot over here under these trees just because that way the sun will not be beating right directly onto the radio. There we go, that looks good. I'll have to move again to show you guys that display, but that's kind of more easy to see. So here's a look at how the display looks. Now down here is your gear shifter, very easy to use. You can select your terrain whenever you do select it. Um, you will get a thing in your center here. So here is the snow. Here is the sport. Here is sand or mud. And that's your all your options. I'm back to auto here. 
and you get a easy pull up and pull down thing, uh, parking brake, USB uh, for your wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which this does have, aux cord, plug in there. One pull up here gets you in the top of this. I'm sorry that my phone does not want to focus. And then if you pull the second one on the bottom, you'll open this up. And then I just have some information in there, some stuff and all that. Seats are nice. I love the design on the vents over there. They look great. Um, you get a little storage pocket up front. Right here, you have your um, mute button, which entirely mutes the entire display totally muted you get your auto start and stop off so if you stop at a red light it'll just it will not turn off um, I haven't minded that too much I feel like on my BMW and also on um, our other car the 2016 Chevrolet Malibu it has been literally terrible using that feature I don't like it but the Jeep just does it so well I don't even mind it so I don't even turn it off I leave it on there's a lot of like backstory about them. People are saying, you know, how they like can end up hurting components more in your car because it starts and stops more. It takes extra wear in your starter, but they are made to kind of um, deal with that all the time. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. I mean, this is a 2019. The only thing that's been done that's big on here was new tires, regular maintenance, of course, oil changes. And the only thing that was replaced was the vacuum pump. That's it. Um, and we just put this at the dealer. We just got this yesterday. Um, you have your AC button, fast controls. Pretty much everything is right in the dash. And as you click different buttons and change things, it will change on the dash. Um, and all that, there's an auto button. So like, it's just like pretty much off cause it's already 74 in here. I'm gonna actually lower the temperature. Um, you have your front and rear defo defrosters here. And then you have a button just to click that off, click it back on. Let's go through the buttons. Now I have a radio quick access button there for like Sirius XM since I have the subscription in here. And then you have a media button for any media, which I was gonna change that, but I don't know what to make it. So I haven't fully customized this yet, but I did change the background wallpaper. It is different, you can change it. Um, and this is climate. You can change it through here or just use these. I feel like these are easier whenever you're driving, but if you're sitting, I love using the touchscreen. It just is so much easier for me to use a touchscreen. Um, then clicking those little buttons, I can just drag those. You can just grab and drag or press the arrow keys. And um, you can, you know, customize whatever. You can customize where your heat is going or your air. And then if you go right there's your heated seat or uh, heated steering wheel. But if you go to controls, you got your heated seat for your driver and your heated steering wheel. And of course your passenger's heated seat. Um, your backup camera, you can access right from there. And of course you can go to apps here. And then this is navigation. So you can search up nav. And then here is Sirius XM Travel Link. If you have this set up, it's really, really great. If you have Sirius XM and it's included with your subscription, it's included with mine, but you can view full fuel prices in your area, movie listings, sports, weather, my favorites, your subscription information, weather map, and you can use Sirius XM traffic, traffic events. There's construction work on 81, on Interstate 81, right there. You can view all that before you go for your trip. Okay. Um, projection, you can have those like a quick button down there if you want them like that. I don't really like them like that. SOS, you can, anything you want to, you can drag it down here and favorite it. Um, here's an app manager. I don't know if you can download more apps, running apps. Not sure. Backup camera quick button, heated wheel, Sirius XM radio, media, climate, controls, navigation, phone through Bluetooth, which I don't use. Somehow my Samsung got connected though, but I use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. I prefer Apple CarPlay way over Android Auto, so I always have my iPhone on me, but in case I only bring my Samsung, which is back there in my bag, I can use Android Auto. And there is your audio settings and your regular settings. Now in these settings, there's so many options. You can do things with the display, the mode, the headlights off, display brightness, headlights off. 
Um, if your headlights are off, it goes to a full 10. You can set your theme. I have Jeep, I think seven. No, I have 11, which is like rocks. I just love the rocks. You can turn off so many different options through display, units, voice, your clock, camera, auto on comfort. Um, so I have it where if I remote start the car, if it's, um, if it's cold, it will turn on my heated steering wheel on my heated seat for me a while. Your lights, so many options in here that you can view. Um, but let's go ahead and let's talk about what you can exactly do with Apple CarPlay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my iPhone here. This is my first time using Apple CarPlay. Okay, I have never, I have never had Apple CarPlay in any other vehicle. This is my first vehicle that Apple CarPlay has been in, and I am obsessed with Apple CarPlay. My phone is unlocked. Give me one second. Okay. Now I'm going to open Apple Maps real quick and then go back over because I like that to be my main one. On your first screen, you get a big view of where you're at. So right now we're sitting at the Pine Grove Furnace Park. And then um, you get, it keeps on glitching because the Wi-Fi, there's hardly any service out here. Um, you get your three most recently used apps. Your Things will change, but I really prefer to keep the big music. I can't change anything though, but if I like a calendar event, it'll come up right there, which I'm not too much of a fan about. Um, quick things, I wanna go to a local Starbucks or my my Save Walmart or my Save Carlisle Crossing shopping, I can just click on that and it'll take me right there through Apple Maps. If you use Google Maps, that will change as well. Um, the audio quality in here is phenomenal. It, I would say that it doesn't go as loud as I would like. It kind of like, the Mac is like 38 and it's not too loud. Um, so that's one that's kind of like a downside to this. I wish it would have more like loudness. I love like a jam and radio. Um, and I mean, the, the audio quality is so crisp and so good, but it just doesn't feel like it's loud enough for me. Um, you have your phone, you can quickly click there, click on your keypad, type in a number, 1-800-544, whatever, blah, 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 whatever. And then you can call if you want. Um, your music. I can access all of my Apple Music playlist. I use Apple Music, it's my favorite. I can access my recently added, I can go to my library, scroll down to playlists, I can pick um, uh, all Teddy, which is Teddy Swims, I can play. Right now they don't have service, so it's not gonna play. Um, messages, you can easily access something and then just click on a message and then you can see what they last said and you can reply through Siri. Um, podcasts, news, I haven't tried the news app yet in here. Here we go, you can listen to news, audiobooks, your calendar, you can view a full calendar here. Settings, which you can then change your wallpaper. I've made mine this cool like dark or uh, like olive green, kind of like brown. It matches the color of the car, I think. Um, Domino's, which is cool. Duncan has a fast order, so I can quickly order a coffee, but it's, again, doesn't have too much good Wi-Fi here, so. But I can order my favorites on um, that, and then I got my Sirius XM app, Spotify, and I even have Waze. I do like Waze. But since Apple Maps now offers you to report accidents and police and whatever report, crash, hazard, speed check, I like Apple Maps. I just love the way it's so, it just works so good. And that's pretty much it for Android or Apple CarPlay. And that's how I pretty much drive all the time with Apple CarPlay up. So let's go ahead and move back over um, to, to the other spot again. That way I can show you guys exactly how this center thing works around here. Wheel is very, very soft. I just love how nice it glides and how nice the leather feels. It feels so premium. It's great. Okay, let's go ahead and look in here. Now, you can customize everything from that in the top corner, from that in the right corner, from that in the center, on the top. And the way you do that is you go down to Screen Setup, and that's how you change that. Press OK, and you can customize your center. You can customize your gear display on the right with all your gears. You can customize your upper left. Right there, I haven't customized that. Favorite menus, because I want to have everything available in here. Audio. I think everything is already done in here. Um, and you can customize all of that. Your upper left, upper right, your defaults, your odometer, 
your ferret menus and you're back to start again. But now you customize with these little buttons over here. Now I always get the big speedometer up there, but if you do switch and you have a different screen up, whenever you go to drive, it should, I think it should move up your um, speedometer up to the top here. Maybe not. I know some menus that will move the, the odometer up to the top there um, instead of the time, but you can make that be your speedometer all the time if you want. Um, but I like to have the big clock there because there's used to be, there's always a big clock here. But as soon as you go into Apple CarPlay, it goes away because I want you to look at that little tiny little clock. That is so small. I mean, I'm trying to look at a big clock. I'm trying to go down the, down the highway. Um, there is your, um, your average fuel economy. There is your trip information, which I should reset. Stop and start. That's where I switch the red light. Your audio, Apple CarPlay. You can see what you're playing if you play anything. I don't think mine will play. Let me try to... There it went. Restless Road, no can do Apple CarPlay. Messages, no... St that's like um, oil change or reminders, tires, etc. And you're back at screen setup. Now, pretty much leave it there. This comes with the um, auto park assist. Shift to drive to use park assist. Okay, let's turn that on. I tried this last night. Now, there wasn't a lot of cars. Okay, I don't really know how it works 100%. I never used it, but uh, I know the BMW has this. Mine doesn't, but I know a lot of them do. And you can parallel park your car, or you can park like that. To exit space, use turn signal shift to reverse. So... I'm not sure. I haven't figured that out, but I can pretty much park myself. I mean, that's just like really extra. Um, <laughs> but um, you're parking. That is for it'll beep at you if you're close to something. And then your lane uh, lane sense. The lane sense on this works so great. You get um, on your white or your yellow line or the white line or highway line. As soon as you get close to it, it will slowly guide you back in. You can change if you want that off. If you just want that to turn orange and not steer you, if you want it to be hard, if you want it to be medium, uh, you know, uh, grip or whatever on you, you can change all of that um, for your liking. Your, as you can see, the um, the temperature gauge and the gas gauge, they are both digital, which I love. It looks so good, and oh, I just love everything in here. I was kind of confused about where the fog light button was, and right there is that. You can click that right on if you have your headlights on. This does also have automatic high beams, but the headlights are not on right now, so it's not showing. But um, it does have automatic high beams, so they will turn on and off for you um, with cars and traffic. So you don't have to worry about trying to play around with all of that. You get the universal um, garage door thing, which I like. You get a sunglass holder. I got, my grandfather has a pair in there. There's another pair in there. And then I put mine in this little magnetic closure thing. You get a massive, I wouldn't say massive, but I mean, it's a pretty good size cup holder. If you fill that up with change, you're going to be going to the bank getting some money cashed in. And ours is a 3.2 liter V6 engine. So I'm going to take you guys for a little trip here. Let's go ahead and go. I got to set up my little hands-free phone thing that I got. So give me a second here. I'm going to lay you guys down and then I'm going to get this, uh, get my seatbelt on and I'll put you guys in my hands-free thing. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys are pretty much hands-free. Let's go ahead and head on out of here. There isn't too much traffic on these roads anyway, so we are good to go. We are safe. We are good. Very, very minimal traffic. Now, the dealership put on four brand new tires on this, so I'm not sure what tires this thing usually would take, but these are Kumho tires. They are very, very nice tires. I love these tires a lot thing has a ton of power but you really I mean from going from my car I mean all cars are like that but this thing really very little bit takes you off but once you're on a hill you really got to have some extra you know stuff so I guess we'll go left here out of this lake one little car there probably the one we're gonna see for a good many miles get some good acceleration here About half throttle, not even full throttle. We'll test that again in a minute. Our speed limit drops right here though. 
there was our other park entrance, but this is this is really, really great um, a vehicle. It is so nice. We'll test this up here a little bit farther up the road. We'll give it some more pep once we open up a little bit more on this main route. Okay. I'm gonna floor it right here. Ready, set, go. Floored. Thing really drops down into gear, really gets you moving. That 3.2 liter V6 does not play around. Now, talking about torque and horsepower with this vehicle, um, compared to the turbocharged, I don't know if it's, I think the 2019 has it, but I might, it might only be the 2020s, but uh, I thought there was a turbocharged um, option. And uh, we just got this one because we just like we like to have bigger engines, not turbocharged. But the turbocharged does offer more horsepower and more torque than the 3.2 liter V6. But I will say, compared to my 2.0 liter four cylinder in my BMW 528i, this thing puts you in the seat. I mean, I can feel that thing. Woo! I mean, it just puts you in the seat. It is so nice, has so much power. This thing can tow. And I will show you guys the lane sense here. So it will turn green once it can sense the lanes. I think you gotta be going 40 miles per hour or more. And then if we drift over to the, to the left lane here, the yellow lane, it turns the wheel all by itself and turns us back all by itself and it turns orange um, color to let you know that you're going out of your lane. And if you don't want it to turn for you, you can have that turned off. I might turn it off later because it does kind of get a little bit annoying, but it's not terrible. It's just a slight, I have it I think on medium, and it's just a slight little like reminder, hey, you're going out of your lane, let me help you get back in it. Um, I don't trust it though, to let go of the wheel to grab a drink or to grab my sunglasses. Um, I don't trust it because sometimes it's a little bit late of doing that, but most time it's really, really good about it. I mean, even just driving it just should to me right there because I'm often on one of the lines which is a bad driving habit, but that's just the way I think most people are. They're always on, usually the white line is the one of the ones that people are usually more against to get away from traffic and stuff and all of that. Now you can fight against it. If it wants to shift you, you can just pull back and it will let go, it'll stop, um, which is nice. Like if we do it here and it wants to shift me over, it was not even doing it right now. So I mean, sometimes it will do it, sometimes it will not. But yes, this is the 2019 Jeep Cherokee Limited in this beautiful color, olive green. Um, I am so happy with this vehicle. It is my favorite vehicle out of all that we have ever owned. It is so nice and so great. Here, let's go yellow line. If you're to me, I can just pull back and say, nope, and we're good. It, it stops, which is great because that means the driver has control and not the vehicle. So very, very nice vehicle. I am so beyond happy with this 20. 19 Jeep Cherokee Limited. I'm going to go ahead and pull over here last minute. Didn't know you could park here. But that's it for this 2019 Jeep Cherokee Limited. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.